Am I here? There you are. I I'm see here. That. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you, Georgina? I'm good. I'm good. You're juggling so much. You have this show. You're a mom. I mean, you got a lot going on. Yeah. I mean, it's not, you know, I don't have two. You have two, right? Two boys. Oh, yeah. I, I oh, literally boy. just finished homeschooling like five seconds ago. I'm like, okay, guys, go in the backyard quick. Yeah. Do you remember a lot of stuff when you're homeschooling? Are you like, I remember doing this and learning well, this? You know, we have a kindergartner, which is fine. But the fourth grade math, I'm not going to lie. It's a little challenging. Wow, that's so I know I was thinking about that. Like if I had to teach math, as everyone saw in the thing when I was saying I'm going to be doing this in 13 minutes that took me half an hour to figure out, um, I wouldn't be great with the math. My husband's very good with math. So that's yeah. what I would. That's what I would do. Isn't it crazy? It's just our new normal. And now we have this. Oh. To do. But hey, you know what? There's much worse things. So I'm yes, so you're right. You're right. So how exciting. Can you believe Georgina tonight is episode three of the Baker and the Beauty? I know we're already at three. It's such a great, I'm so, I mean, I'm grateful that it's out during this time because I'm home and I can focus on it and watch it and enjoy it. And, and I think um, it's just, I can't believe we're already at episode three. I'm, I'm sure people are very excited to see the rest of it unfold. I know. And so you play Piper and mm -hmm. that is Noah Hamilton's BFF. And she, <laughs> she has such a, a great part because she's like, almost like rooting for uh, Noah Hamilton and her <laughs> love life. But before we talk about that, I'm curious, because you and uh, Natalie, who, who plays Noah, um, yeah. you and Natalie Kelly, you have to have that BFF bond. How did you guys bond before shooting? Um, well, Nat was really great. And um, Becky, who is one of our producers, set us up over email. And then I and Natalie reached out to me and then we got together as soon as I arrived in the hotel. We had a little hangout in, in the hotel room and just chatted and told each other stories. And we just kind of opened up very quickly. We're both pretty comfortable people. So it wasn't difficult. And Natalie is so welcoming. And yeah, it was pretty smooth. Like she's very... Um, She's so warm as a person and interested in your life and, and how you think about things that it felt pretty, it felt pretty natural from the get-go. Yeah, and you guys have such great chemistry. I mean, it's just, oh, they play off each other so well. Like, it's so believable. Like, you guys are BFFs. Yeah, that's really nice. I hope so. That's what we're, you know, we're going for. And, you know, a lot of friendships are also what isn't talked about, right? You, yep. you can be with your friends in the same room and you just get, like, the vibe or... They make like a certain face and and that and i had some insider type of feelings like that as people yep. and um so hopefully yeah it comes across and people are enjoying it and piper has known noah the character noah since mm -hmm. they were childhood friends so you yes. have to really have that bond yeah and i think that's why in episode two when daniel is leaving i think that's why piper's so invested in that relationship because i think she sees you know, a lot in Daniel very quickly that would be good for Noah um, compared to Colin. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, Noah's a wonderful guy, though. The actor is a wonderful person. Um, Nothing so, personal, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, so I think she sees stuff in Daniel, and that's why she's like, you got to, and Daniel, you need to take advantage. This is a great situation for you. So, you know. Even though she almost gets run over by his uh, food truck. Yes, his food truck. <laughs> Yeah, done by yeah. a wonderful, wonderful stunt lady in uh, in Puerto Rico. I I love that. I love that. So let's talk about that. So you filmed, by, you know, many months in Puerto Rico, and you have a young two year old. As we were talking yes. about, how was that? I mean, was it kind of like, yay, I get to sleep for a while while my husband takes care of the baby, or how did that work out? My husband did not take care of the baby because uh, my husband's also a working actor and he okay. was actually not, he was in New Orleans and then he was in the East Coast of Canada um, directing his first feature. So my parents live outside of Toronto and um, what I did was I would, I took Penelope there and I would fly back and forth from the East Coast. I wanted to give yeah. her a stable place to be. I would have brought her with me. She's really good with flying, but she's so young and in a hotel room and trying to work and then leaving. Oh, so yeah. honestly, I couldn't have done it without my parents who I'm very grateful to and our wonderful grandparents and she had the best time they live on a very they live out in the countryside there's lots of Beautiful. room and and so for her it was a really great bonding experience with them and I just flew a lot and it was a lot but I you kind of just you make it work in this job and I'm grateful to work and and have a supportive family to do that you know I've talked to some of your other uh you know cast members in the, in the show and there's an amazing amount of Hispanic culture that comes through 
how was it immersing yourself in the Hispanic culture, the food, the dancing, and, and just the ah. whole thing? I mean, it's amazing. There's nothing to complain about. The whole vibe of that culture is warm and full of music and good food and, and being in a group and entertaining. And, and I think we had a lot of cast dinners at this place called Jose Enrique. And I'm just really grateful because I learned a lot and I got to be around a different culture way more, you know? Oh, yeah. So it was a really, it was a beautiful experience. And the food is just yummy. Avocado on every, like salsa, like everything, everything's good, you know? You can't beat that. And habla espanol? Wait, no, uh, no, like, <laughs> Wait, I, I, like this, I, huh? didn't, I picked up on things, but in Puerto Rico, they're so they if I was just like, Oh, they'd immediately just speak to me in English. I'd be like, I'm trying. <laughs> yeah, you're like, I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. So yeah. as, far as, as far as tonight's episode, let's get a little preview. What are we going to see Piper getting into uh, with this particular uh, episode three? Well, we're going to Puerto Rico. We're on business trip. So there's okay. work involved for this episode. So you're going to see Piper in more of a work mode and taking okay. responsibility. She's the brand manager for Noah, So she handles yes. a lot of the event planning and how it's going to look and how it's going to be. So there might be a couple of bumps in the road um, for Piper's job. You'll have to um, you'll have to watch and see how it unfolds. But it's not super comfortable. <laughs> Ooh, okay, that's a good tease. And as far as you with the show, you had mentioned before that you weren't actually there for the taping of the pilot, but you're inserted. How did that all work out? Because you guys taped some stuff way later, right? Yes, we did some re that, that's very common with pilots. You'll shoot a pilot and then, you know, they'll watch it and they'll decide like certain things, you know, you might add in a scene here or do something there. And so I'm just very lucky that I got to be, you know, the pilot was so strong and great. And then I got to be added into it later. So they just added in some of that at the beginning of the main shoot of the season of season one in Puerto Rico. So, um, yeah, I got, we had to do things. I got to work with the wonderful David Frankel, amazing director of the Devil Wears Prada is just like one of my all time favorites. Absolutely. And um, we had to really time things out when we were shooting it. It was like, this is 10 seconds <laughs> that needs to go into the pilot. So we just gotta like get this done in 10 seconds or whatever it was. Um, and then I got to rappel off the side of a building and, and practice that and do rock climbing with the cast, which was a great bonding experience. And oh, yeah. Yeah. I love that scene of you fun. guys when, when Noah decides to take Daniel off of the building and you guys, it's such a cool scene. I love the vibe of it. It's, it's edgy. It's exactly what we wanted from the show. It's really out there. Like right away you see like, this is a fantastic life and this, we do what we want when we want. Yes. And I think them, sometimes watching that is so, you know, we watch things to live through them vicariously. And I think that's a really fun part of Noah's world. Oh, absolutely. So I'm curious, too, because, you know, we a lot of people have speculated. I know you can't say much, but Mateo. OK, so Daniel's brother. I'm going to be speaking with David Del Rio on Wednesday, so I can't wait to talk to him. But I feel like oh, there needs you. to be some kind of love interest for him. So I'm wondering, Piper? <laughs> You know, I can't say anything. I think that's <laughs> I think that's a great idea. I think that's a very cute way to like bring the worlds together. Um, but you know, you're gonna have to see it unfold. You never you never know. I think I think the audience will be pleased with the choices and the direction that it goes in. Um, David is so wonderful. I love David. I love his wife, Katie. Like, she is yeah. wonderful. We've all bonded a lot um, when we were away. And David's so funny and charming. And I think his storyline is really great. So I think people will be excited about that. But as for Piper, I don't know. <laughs> oh, we'll have to see. And the cast is charming. I mean, I've spoken to Lisa Vidal, uh, as well as Belissa yes, Escobedo, who they're so sweet. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're so authentic. And I think that is what comes across in this show, the authenticity yeah. of the characters. It's not just, you know, a show about Hispanic families. It's, it's real people. And I think that's why people are connecting. Yeah, they're such great actors, but they also then they bring so much of just who they are and their culture and their history. And I mean, Lisa is just she's a wonderful, wonderful woman who is an amazing actress. And yes. I really learned a lot from her. You know, she's been around in this business and she knows her stuff. And she's someone who I really respect and admire and who was there for us in, in the group a lot as a as a great leader. And she's wonderful. And Melissa is just like killing it. Her role is just 
you, I'm so excited for everyone and for her because she's just so good in the show. Yeah, and it's pushing the envelope in such a sweet way. Now, the filming was wrapped before this whole COVID-19 thing. How lucky is yes. that? I mean, yes. everything was wrapped. So you guys, a lot of productions were shut down. And I think you were probably, because you were wrapped with your part, maybe you were on another project that had to shut down? Yes, I was about to start something else that I can't really say um, about. But yeah, I was, um, I was in New York. So yeah, my husband was shooting his series in New York and the writing was on the wall. And thankfully he just kind of was like, I think we should book our flights and get home to Los Angeles, you know, before things start to get more intense. And he was right. They did. And then the show was put on hold and um, just grateful to be home with them. We spend a lot of time traveling away from each other. So we're trying to just make the most of being all together in the same house. Oh my. Constantly. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's good. That's good and bad. It's I feel good, like yeah, for anyone. <laughs> Everyone has their space and their time. Just take walks. That's really yeah. the successful thing is lots of walks when you can, yeah. obviously, to safe places with all your stuff, you know? Right, right. Maybe, maybe a beer once in a while. You know, I, I have to admit, I like, you know, I do, I like beer, but I feel like mm -hmm. if I drank one every day, I'd be like, ooh. So I was laughing because in the fridge, I discovered a, um, um, what do you call that? Um, a white claw. And I was like, Oh, that looks interesting. It's like a kind of a like a watery like alcohol thing. And now okay. I'm like, if my kids are like, Dad, it's five o'clock. Where's your white claw? I'm like, uh oh, bad parents. Oh wow, they know what it is too. What's what's <laughs> happening here, right? <laughs> you know, you gotta have some treats. You know, a lot of treats are not happening anymore, and so you gotta have your thing that you look for to the end of the day. My husband and I like a glass of red wine. We like to watch our movie a bit of a movie before we get into bed and read. And we're really just trying to, you make the most of the little things that you have and you become very grateful for them. And um, mm -hmm. so you have your White Claw. I think it's okay. And, and I never had it before. I'm like, oh, now I get what White Claw is about. I'm, I'm it. not a beer person, so I don't, I have no, no idea, but it sounds cool. I feel like the hey. glass would be cool or the bottle or whatever. So I mean, why not? I have to say though, Piper's style is spot on. I mean. I mean, I know there's wardrobe, but you obviously, you look amazing right now, but I'm sure oh, that, did you have any input in her style at all? Or was that all stylists? Yeah, no, no. Um, our costume designer, Jess, Jess is, so, is so amazing. And she, you know, it's her job to create a character with you. And, and, and I, I never like to go around that because, you know, she knows the overall thing, but she definitely listened to me and what I felt good in and what I felt comfortable in. And and Piper isn't like super different than me in style wise. So that was kind of fun for me to find things. And actually, I always learn so much from costume designers and just what yeah. works well on my body and like what, you know, designers there are. And mm -hmm. I find it a really fun process to create a character. And Piper was one of my favorites, just like just really fun clothing. And um, I think my favorite outfit is coming. I think it's at the, in the last episode or the sec the last episode, I think. That's my favorite outfit. So I'll the have one to- that's wearing tonight or the one from last, last episode? No, like um, last is in the last episode of the season, episode oh. nine. Okay. That's probably my favorite, my favorite outfit. But um, oh, awesome. someone said I look cute all the time, which is really sweet. But you're my friend, and you have to say that. So thank you, Amanda. <laughs> Are your friends telling you that? You do. But you do. Yes. You very, yeah. oh, I here. made the effort for you, because who's going out anymore? So I was like, I'm doing a live. I'm getting dressed. I'm going to wash my hair. Oh, and God. Usually I have pajama pants on half the time. I mean, really? Yeah. Come on. I think Keep most it. people in their lives are wearing sweatpants or no pants or whatever they would like, because... Yeah. You know, this is life right now. Well, this is this is so fun. Literally, I can just talk to you for hours. I know. <laughs> you know, just just call me back. <laughs> I will. Well, look, thank you so much for having me. Yeah, thank you so much, Georgina. And I look forward to tonight's episode. Again, for everybody watching tonight on ABC at 10 p.m., we'll all be tuned in. Yeah, and we'll be live tweeting. The cast will be live tweeting. Fantastic. Well, thank you for joining me. Thank you. And I hope we get to do it again soon. Say hi to your husband. I will. Good luck with the homeschooling. Oh, yeah. And the White Claw. I'm going to get right. Yeah, the White Claw. Exactly. I'm going to get right back to that. Okay. I'll see you okay, later. Okay, bye. Christina. Thank you so much, everyone who joined. Bye. So thank you, as always, for joining me and for all your comments. I'm Marco Gonzalez, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow right here on the couch. Take care.